Hello everyone out there in internet land, welcome back to another clinically tested 5kg regimen. My name is Connor and we are back with the fall, part two. So last time we left off, we are at the point where we've spoken with Joseph's and need to get to Ops so that we can meet with him. But uh, as per usual, there's some weird puzzle stuff going around. Uh, there's a guard in front of the elevator to Ops that we need to get past. And something has apparently happened with this man, Gareth. Something terrible has apparently happened to him. And we have to figure out, I guess, what exactly happened to him? Uh, the way he doesn't want to talk to us kind of concerns me. Uh, but we had a brief conversation. Gareth is turning away from the light and squinting. Uh, Gareth's temples are red from rubbing. Uh, Gareth's boots are untied and his shirt is tucked as though just thrown on. Can I... Okay, so I can't actually interact with him. Is this still off limits? This area is off limits. Sorry! Yeah, area is off limits. Uh, bit a bit a bit a bit a bit. Okay. Uh, how to get into. These guys are of no help. This is the guard who was like, hey, you need to go hide because something terrible is going to happen to you. It's the same thing apparently that happened to, to Gareth. Um, we explored the medical room a little bit already because I tried to get some drugs. But uh, maybe there's something in here to calm him down. Uh, first aid? No. That will not help him. Sedatives? No. Blood pressure. Hypodermic needles. Painkillers? Aha! Joseph needs some painkillers. So, did he like get beaten up? Did he? Did he get beaten up? Hey, buddy, have some some pills. Huh? Wow, uh, you didn't need to bring these. Feel better. Uh. Hold up. What's up, bud? Give attention to the human. How'd you get that awful headache? Double shifts in the engine room. A punishment. For what? Look, I like you. You're a good time. I told the visiting admiral he should give you a go. Thought it would ingratiate me. I never got a call from any visitors. Good. Because he found the thought of you despicable. Not technically against protocol, so I was mostly reprimanded. But you are not crew. Hi. Oh. I told him you were one of the service bots, but he will find you. Ah, uh, great. Locate this admiral. Where is the admiral now? You need to avoid him. With any luck, he's sleeping. He rarely sleeps. When he can't, he comes out here and watches. Make him escort us to Ops. Would you maybe take me to Ops? Look, I'm grateful for the pills, but I won't be caught with you. Understood. I should focus on you. Hmm. <laughs> Disengage. Bye! Thanks again. You really should hide. I am not safe. Neither am I. I'm sorry. The elevator guard does not want this admiral to perceive you. She fears to lose me. But the admiral does not know your appearance. I suppose... If the admiral were present, the guard would deny knowledge of you. There would be no excuse to prohibit me from ops. Hmm, the admiral has insomnia. I bet some sedatives could work for that. So I guess we'll go back to the medical room and we'll get some more drugs. So the Admiral apparently hates bots. He hates the idea of, of uh, personal companions. 
This would not be helpful. First aid. Hypodermic needles. Anti-inflammatories. Allergy medications. Antipsychotics and mood stabilizers. <laughs> Might need a little bit of these. Painkillers. Ah. Yeah, none of these are going to help with insomnia. Hmm. It's a tough call, gang. Allergy medications and decongestants? Alright, um... No... No... Maybe, uh... No. Let's talk to the guard. Anything new? Hello. Go. Hide. No? Okay. Humans like to feel connected to nature, even here in space. Ooh, trees! Ah, get fucked. Um... Garrett, you got anything else to say to me, bud? No? Hmm. Okay. So where do I take this knowledge? Oh. Oh. Aha, uh -huh. a servant elevator. Okay, cool. So now we have access to this servant elevator. Whose room does this take me back to the bartender's room? It does. Okay, so... Question is, is there anywhere else? There was another room that was unlocked. This one. We found that one earlier. Looks like he's having some trouble sleeping. Uh-huh. That may have made things worse. Oh, that may have made things worse. Oh boy, okay. Well, let's see what that does. Oh, Admiral's gonna be hanging out. for ops personnel only. Oh no. Are you part of this crew, miss? Um... Do you work here or not? I do. I, I do work with this crew. Then go put on your damn uniform. Go. Okay, so we need a uniform. My solution now prohibits me. Hmm. Where will we find a uniform? You will locate a member of the ops team, and you will seduce them. Oh, okay. You will seize their uniform, securing access to Joseph's and the user. Sex makes people happy. Irrelevant. Oh boy, now we get to do the sex thing. Excuse me. Uh, let's see. It says ops. It says come. Ah uh, ha ha ha. Seduce the human. Simulate interest in the human's manner. I have a confession. I've been watching you. You're different. What makes you tick? I am not different. Don't pry into my personal life. She totally wants you. 
I don't care. What is wrong with you? Nothing. The human malfunctions. He is broken, but his lack of desire is not a malfunction. It's a choice. Illogical. Humans are designed to breed. He malfunctions. We will discover his error and utilize it. Hmm. The human malfunctions. Okay, why does the human malfunction? Uh, let's go back and talk to the bartender. Alright, so we need... Um, maybe I should have picked something different. Hey, dude. Making friends? Mm-hmm. Lovely. Um... Huh. Hmm. Okay, um... Can we, can we talk to him again? Seduce the human. Inflate the human's- Golly, you sure look handsome. Uh, thanks? The way you fill it out, you must be super strong. I'm trying to be. Please leave me alone. She totally wants you. I don't care. What is wrong with you? Nothing. Okay, so, same problem. No matter what option we choose, he's going to deny us. Um, let's see what happens if... Can I still not go this way? Is this guy still going to deny me? This area is off limits. Sorry! Like, can I, can I talk to this guy? No. That does not work. Um... Let's try going back down here into the... The service tunnels. See if we can't find something else. Ooh. Okay, so nothing else there. Hallway back to my closet. Where do we go? I don't think I have access to any other rooms. The answer lies back in this room. Okay, can we? Okay. Can we can we turn that off? Okay, hold on. I don't know which quarters are his. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, this fucking music is driving me insane. Okay, so one of the things that was in here in the medical room was... Ah, mood stabilizers. Various sedatives? Alright, well... I'm stumped. Aha! Look up his medical records. Hendrix treatment, session 13. Agent Hendrix's bravery throughout our sessions is finally reaping progress. His trauma has left him incapable of structuring healthy boundaries, particularly in relation to sexuality. I believe that he has been attempting to regain control over events from his past by recreating negative experiences in his present, a cycle that, of course, has yielded no lasting relief or healing. Our current agreed upon course is one of abstinence while we investigate the fears that he has been repressing. This investigation, however, is elevating his response to aggression in general, and his awareness of his sensitivity does not seem to minimize it. He seems at once titulated and horrified by the possibility of returning to his unhealthy patterns and has been seeking out situations where he is shamed. I fear that any extended aggressive interface uh, could trigger him to slip back into his traumatic responses. 
If our treatment is maintained, I do believe Agent Hendricks will be able to make a full recovery. He tells me that he is motivated by the possibility of feeling safe within future relationships. That poor man. I was wrong to dismiss the pertinence of observing human malfunction. Now you can seduce him. This is not healthy for anyone. You are designed for intercourse. Please, Aaron. I have no choice. Uh, okay, we're gonna go with good path, Aaron. I do not want to violate the innocent. Your concern is selfish. You, you would endanger me. Oh fuck. What is wrong with me? I, I, Aaron. I need Aaron. Arid? Arid. I have a rule. Save myself. Ah, uh, fuck. Why am I surprised at this point? Shame the human. Do not be self serving. Shame the human and serve me. Oh, Arid, why do you do this? Alright, let's go shame this poor guy. Ugh, this is gonna make me feel really bad. Seduce the human. Uh utilize trauma. Man, okay. Arid's attitude must be an effect of the virus. Something is changing her. Shame the human. You. What? You are no man. Pardon me? Worthless. Small. What the? Don't talk to me like that. If you were any kind of a man, you would use me. I... More. What is going on? Prove you are not pathetic. I am not pathetic. What the? Success. He will call at my chamber. Oh, lovely. Now, well, let's go see where the fuck this turns out. Man, the virus must really be affecting Arid. Making friend? Oh boy. He will call at my chamber. I am summoned. You will shame him. Arid, please change your perspective? No. The servant elevator light will reveal his room. Man. This is... This got dark quick. This got really dark. Like, I don't even have a lot of words. The virus has to be somehow changing Aaron, Arid's mind and her perspective. Suppress. Uh. This is just. Yep. Red light. Do you want this? What are you applying? Nothing. I just want you to be satisfied. I am... Um, I don't know what I want. Um... Do not ruin this. I don't want to do this. You don't? Aggravate him. We don't have to. You! You are not a man! Yes, I am. Shame him. You are pathetic! No! Powerless! I'm sorry. I am not! No. No. Prove it. Oh boy! Is this... Is this how you do the sex? This is how the sex is done by the humans, isn't it? Damn it. Oh, those are the ones that I have to be behind cover for. That's right. 
Okay, well. This is, oh, that's what this is, this is cover. Whoops. This has made me thoroughly uncomfortable. Alright. Let's see how this goes. Oh. Success. He's sleeping. Irrelevant. We go to ops. And now we have a soldier's uniform. Okay, so... Let's just say... He is whimpering. Uh, God, okay, that's where we're gonna go ahead and leave it for the day. That was... That was kind of upsetting. Like, that was... Every every episode, Arid is becoming more and more manipulative, but that was downright just... That was almost... I don't want to say evil, but just so... Even through her path to sentience, Arid was never like this. The virus, whatever's inside of her, is changing her. And it's turning her into this awful thing. And, uh... I mean, like, like I say at the end of every episode, I, I want to see where this rabbit hole takes us, but... I'm not gonna lie, that made me feel really uncomfortable. Like... I don't feel good about anything that just happened. We just completed a big objective to move on, but I don't feel good about anything about it or how we got there. And honestly, the more we go, the more uncomfortable I'm kind of getting. The butler was weird, one was sad, but the companion, I just don't feel good. That was, ugh. I need to go hug a kitten or something, that, that upset me. But guys, that, upsetting stuff aside thank you for joining me um if you like the video hit that like button if you have a comment throw it down in the comment section down below you know i'd love to know what you think what do you guys think of the story so far does arid clearly seem to be going kind of on a downhill slope into some not so good territory or am i maybe making a big deal of things tell me what you think and if you haven't subscribed yet i'd love it if you did just make sure to hit that notification bell so you'll know whenever we upload new videos we've been trying to make sure to film a bunch of stuff in our free time and we got some really cool things coming but all that being said, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Like I said, this this episode didn't make me feel good, and I'm hoping that it doesn't get worse, but it, it probably will. Guys, you know I always appreciate your time and your viewership. I will see you in the next installment, and like always, have a good one.